The ISIX board has adopted a standard that defines the regional and statewide interoperable talk groups. This standard covers several elements of their use that we will go over now. The ISIX interoperable talk groups work on the ISIX platform to allow for public safety and public service agencies to communicate with each other over a larger area. Talk groups such as these have been used with success in other states that have similar systems. The regional interoperability talk groups have set regions for their use. The talk groups align with the Iowa Homeland Security regions to create some level of uniformity and consistency across the state. There is a buffer built into the fringe areas of each region. This means that Region 1 talk groups will work within HSEMD Region 1 and one ring of counties around it. The statewide interoperability talk groups will work statewide and are not bounded by a Homeland Security region. The interoperable talk groups for each region and statewide are laid out in similar fashions. First, there is a calling talk group labeled as CALL. The regional call talk groups will work within their region. These talk groups can be used for all types of calling and hailing. An example would be as if you wanted to reach out to another agency for assistance. As an example, you may hear something like this on the radio. ISP 210, this is County Comms on R1 Call 11. Go ahead, County Comms. We have a motor vehicle collision on a highway that is blocking traffic and we need extra people. Can you assist? I'm available. Copy that. We're going to patch our ops into R1 TAC 12. Copy that. I'll uh, switch to that talk group. Copy that. There is a statewide call talk group available as well. This talk group will be used if a larger announcement or call has to be made that will affect multiple Homeland Security regions. The next set of talk groups are interoperable tactical, or TAC, talk groups. There are sets of regional and statewide interoperable TACs available. For now, we are going to focus on TACs ending in 2 through 6. These are non-encrypted tactical talk groups that can be used for a variety of events. The regional TAC should be used primarily for interoperable events that will be confined to a Homeland Security region. It may be preferable if these events were static and non-mobile to prevent them from going out of their area. The statewide TACs are available for events that are mobile, moving, or may cover a very large geographic area that spans multiple HSCMD regions. These include things like pursuits, ragbri, or other large-scale events that may span multiple regions. The last set of talk groups are slated to be encrypted interoperable talk groups. As of 2019, those are not ready for use due to the need for encryption management practices to be established. However, once that is completed, these talk groups will be active and the encryption keys will be given to ISIX users. All of these interoperable tactical talk groups can be patched into your local channels or talk groups if needed. They can be used for pre-planned events such as county fairs, special traffic operations, motor vehicle accidents, or any other event where multiple agencies may be participating. For planned events, NIMS and ICS protocols are recommended. In some cases, they may also be used for regional training exercises. In this case, it is best to use the regional interoperable talk groups. For reference, a program called Status Board is being developed that will show which talk groups are in use and which are available. This will be especially beneficial for PSAPs and COMLs throughout the state. To summarize, non-mobile static events are likely best handled with a regional interoperable tactical talk group. Mobile events like Pursuit should be handled with the statewide interoperable tactical talk groups. At the end of any interoperable event, it is important to remember that any soft patches that were created should be taken down. This helps ensure that these resources are available for other users. The regional calling talk groups will be used for announcements, hailing, making first contact, and even communication center to communication center transmissions. These talk groups are configured in such a manner that end users should be able to scan them in the field. In the PSAP, it is recommended that public safety communication centers monitor the appropriate regional calling talk group for their area. It is important to remember that the calling talk groups will not be used for events. 
Planned and no notice events should be handled on the interoperable tactical talk groups. Generally, these interoperable talk groups are not intended to be used by a single agency for daily operations. Also, please keep in mind that only under certain conditions should a statewide talk group be used for training exercises. Coordination on the use of these talk groups for training is key.